other grandparents are going to love my brownies. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm Thea Marie, Thea Marie Perkins. I love baking because of the joy it brings my family. My name is John C. Johnson, and I love baking because it's basically science, science of the stomach, gastronom. My name is Veretta, and I love baking because it's one of those activities that brings families together and friends together. The mmm sound and coming back for more for seconds, that just warms my heart. You know, I hate to brag, but if they like brownies, they'll like mine. Oh, sh One of the secret ingredients that I put in my brownies that make it stand apart from any other brownie is I include walnuts, but the, the main thing is that I include crunched up Butterfinger bars. It's something. I smell something, but I can't really determine. But if you say it's a brownie, it's a brownie. Wow, it is nice and firm. It feels a little bit too hard sugar. I think you overcooked it. I'm not sure if it's going to get the same points as my brownie. It's got a crust on the outside, which means the bake time was, was fairly good. I'm going to go straight for the edge because it's my favorite part. All right. We're getting more away from the traditional grandma, and so I totally get it if, you know, this grandma decided that they want to go with a box and use water and, and an egg instead of, you know, baking it from scratch. I like that. Soft. I really can't, I can't taste any chocolate. There's no added ingredients, nothing to give it a little oomph. It's just a, a plain brownie. Smell, I would say it's a three. Texture, I would say it's a one. Taste, I would say it's a, a one. Overall, in, in each category, I would give it a three and a half. I would give a Three for the smell. It was nice and warm when it was brought to me, and I could smell the aroma of a brownie. Um, the texture of it, it started breaking down a bit as I, um, when I, when I pulled it apart, and so I would give it a two. As far as the taste on this one, I would have to give it a three. Ooh, I can see. Ooh, it's bad. How do you feel like lying to me? <laughs> Brownies should taste gooey, sweet, chewy, chocolatey, and good. Oh my. <laughs> this is an absolute mess. Well, it does smell like a brownie. When I touch it, it definitely has that moistness, but it seems to be a little bit more sticky. Wait, oh, it's falling apart. Let's see, I'm gonna try to get to the edge because this is really sticky and gooey. It's horrible. Nice, ooey and gooey which is really what a brownie should feel like and taste like. It's sticky, horrible consistency. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting flour and I'm tasting uh, like a Hershey's chocolate. Now that's a brownie. The peanut butter and the chocolate's kind of making it more salty. It's kind of spicy, but it's good. It's much better than the other ones. <laughs>
Is this my brownie? This is, uh, it's a little messy. The crust is extremely hard. On smell, I would say a three. Certainly smells like a fresh brownie. On taste, I would have to say a four because it's nice and gooey and, and chocolatey the way a brownie should taste. Now on texture, I would say probably a, a two. I would say a three for the smell. Um, for the texture, I'm gonna give it a one. Um, but for the taste, I'll give it a four. You know, smell is about a two. Consistency is one. Overall taste, one and a half. I think I gained about 10 pounds today. Thank you very much. This is my brownie. This is my brownie. I knew this was my brownie. I knew it. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's still the best. My brownies don't need to be warmed up. They're good. Warm, cold, lukewarm, however you have them. They're great for traveling because you just whip them out and eat them and you're in chocolate heaven. It's really interesting, there's no aroma of the, when did you cook these brownies? I can tell from the texture when I, um, when I kind of broke off the edge that it's gonna be a little dry. It's great consistency. It's, 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 it's firm, it holds together, and when you break it, it's moist. Oh my goodness, did you? What? <laughs> it felt like a brick. I can't taste anything that makes it stand out. This grandparent may have been in a hurry, and, and I get it. I mean, totally understand, you know, when you're running around grandkids. The flavor has a late finish. You don't taste it till just a few seconds after you're, you're chewing on it or you have it in your mouth. It just seems a little dry. I can kind of feel the texture on my fingers. What I would do with this brownie is I would put nuts in it or chocolate chips to speed up an immediate taste. I can't smell these at all, which tells me you cooked these a few days ago. I would have to give it a zero. The texture, I would say a two. I would say a three on the taste. Um, it does smell like a brownie, so I definitely would give it a, let me say a three for the smell. Um, for the texture, I would say a two. And also for the taste, I would give it a two. Smell, I would rate this a four. For texture, I rated a four. Good texture, I like it. For taste, I'm gonna rate this a four. Yeah, I know it was my own brand. <laughs> That's why I gave it a four. Hello, my name is Keisha Rivers. I think y'all remember me from Grandma's Grits. I would uh, really say that they, they really put their elbow in it. Now, let me tell you one thing. I done caught on to John. John, you know you're wrong for that. Mm-hmm. But guess who's in town? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Y'all smell y'all food like me? You better. Okay. Smell is good. I'll give the smell about maybe four. Now the taste, I would give the taste a three. Yeah, it's a little crunchy. You know, brownies ain't supposed to be crunchy. They're supposed to melt in your mouth. The texture looks really good. So I would rate the texture a four. Okay, moving on. All right, now I see the dark chocolate. Mm, we love dark chocolate now. Okay, a little mm, mushy. Mm. This is good. 
I would give the taste, it's a little tart too. I would give the taste maybe a three. Now the smell, smells good, I'll give the smell a four. And then the texture, the texture, I would give a five. This looks yummy, melt in your mouth, yes. Water, honey, water, mm -hmm. And now this looks really good. The smell, ooh, I would give that smell a five. That smells good. The taste, the taste is good. Nuts in there. I would give it a, I would give it a five. This is good. I would give the texture a five as well. This is a brownie. This, yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, I need some more. I'm the judge, so I can do that. It's not just the smell, but it's also the texture and the taste. Number one brownies, I'm Beretta from Los Angeles.